What you're seeing here is just one of three ballrooms. And every soffit in here is constructed with drywall grid, Armstrong drywall grid, four and six foot centers. All suspended by wire, everything in this room. All the light coves in this ballroom have, are framed pre-jigged off-site and being uh, installed on different centers, four to, and six foot centers, combination of four and six foot centers to, uh, to work with all the MEPs, you know, the lights and the diffusers. Um, but these look really good, all finished. So here we were out here and, uh, you know, switching these guys was definitely a learning curve. Um, they were, you know, very reluctant. Uh, we had to come on out to the job and, and work, put some hours in and, uh, and make their comfort level a little uh, better. And now they just took it and run with it. They, uh, combination with the mitered drywall, combination of our four and six foot tees. And we'll even show you the special notching tool that they made to, to speed up production. So here they're looking at changing this to this design in every hallway throughout this place. Um, but instead of, that is traditional framed, well drywall grid frame with, with uh, drywall on the face, but now we're, they're gonna go to our Axiom one piece for all these curves. So that'll be a great addition to the project. So here, if you look up here, that's a great combination. I use combination of our different T spacing, four and six foot spacing so they didn't have to cut the framing for the diffuser boots. So, you know, when we are jigging these up as a frame, that's essentially a truss. And you don't wanna cut that truss because you're, you're cutting your strength. So they used combination of T-spacing to minimize the cuts. It's a great idea. So here's a great example of, you know, why you wanna use the mitered drywall with the drywall grid system. Here you can see they put all their mitered drywall on with factory edges. So then they can have one jump on the job and get all that finished and the MEP work can all be being done and then they final, final hang the bottom board, finish the bottom and they're done. And what you see here, the combination of the drywall grid, uh, so all soffits with the miter drywall pre-applied. You know, look, this is all ready. This is a made, main factor on why uh, the schedule is doing good and, and being able to stay ahead of schedule is doing things like this. Well, here you can see they're jigging these up. This is an exact light cove and they're putting these on either four or six foot centers. So I like to call this is like a truss. Well, here's a great example of, uh, you know, mixing uh, traditional framing to, to beef up this truss because you spin it around you needed, you needed to tie this together. Originally, this was a three and five stud drop. So we eliminated that stud drop going all the way up and it goes to a sub ceiling right here. So pretty cool. Here you can see they got a story pole on the table. All the notches line up with his marks. He, he marked the, the main on the story pole and he used the notching tool to notch them. That's a lot of hand cutting when you're making thousands of frames. So that's a pretty cool product that these guys made up on their own. Here you'll see a bunch of bundles of our cam. This is my most popular framing angle and the guys said here they love it. It's our KAM 151220E. And uh, basically it's a it's 22 gauge. It's 12 foot long, inch and a half by inch and a half. Um, it's kind of comical because the framers were telling us the, that other trades are stealing the angle because they love it. It's a lot stronger than what they're used to, but it's only a 22 gauge. That's why we call it 20 EQ. Um, even the framers for the walls were stealing it. You know, they bought this just for the ceiling work, but they're finding that they're using it all over the job for other things. So the other main reason they're saying that they love this angle is not just for its strength, but it's also 12 foot. That's not normal. Most framing angles are 10 foot, but they're framing multiples of four or six foot centers combination and it will always land on their framing. So they like that because it, they'd have nice, straight, crisp soffits. So here you'll see uh, these guys used uh, one of our newest products. It's not quite available yet, but they, they were one of the first ones to try it out for us. It's our flexible framing angle, inch and a half by inch and a half. It's gonna be 12 foot four long and 
it's literally bendable to the radius, but it is a 20 EQ angle, so it has somewhat of a memory. Here, you can see, they frame their uh, four by uh, six foot modules of a drywall grid, and then they spliced in jigs every 16 or 24 inches on center, depending on how tight the radius is. So if you're looking for someone like myself to come out on your job and help you be more productive and keep your job on schedule, go to armstrongceilings.com forward slash expertise. And there's an area there that you can uh, request someone to come on out.